Hi everyone, today I want to talk about managing Tmax sessions. Uh, there are various ways to do it. You can not use any program and just manage them yourself via scripts. You can use program that we will talk about called Tmaxinator. Uh, you can use plugin called Resurrect and there are other alternatives of Tmaxinator as well. However, today I want to talk specifically about a program called Tmaxinator and why managing Tmax session is useful. Um, if you haven't watched the video about using Tmax, I have quite a few of them on my channel. I'll put them in the video description. But if you're using this, if you're watching this video, then I'm assuming you're already using Tmax, and you might be interested in something that helps you manage sessions. All right, let's get started. So. What we're going to do, we will see how to use Tmax to define windows and panes and commands you can execute inside of them via a simple YAML. Um, we will see how it helps automate repetitive tasks. Uh, it can, uh, in my case, I create a lot of development environments or kind of other sessions. And because we have a YAML file, we can, of course, share it or store it in Git repository. So what is Tmaxinator? It's, it's a program that manages your Tmax sessions for you. It comes with quite a few interesting features on top of that uh, that we will explore later, but it essentially uh, doesn't create, doesn't replace Tmax, it just adds on top of it to manage sessions for you. It's written in uh, Ruby, so it not, it's not that performant, not that fast, with all the Rust programming wave, and there are some Rust alternatives to it, or or, or even C, but um, I find Tmaxinator abstractions quite useful, so I don't mind an occasional performance hiccup. Installation is super simple via the gem or brew, or you can just grab it directly with wget or something else. Uh, how to use it? Very simple commands. We can create a new project which will open your editor uh, and you can start editing YAML. We can start a project which will create a Tmax session and render on the windows and panes as instructed in the configuration. We can list, edit, and so on. Quite simple uh, commands. So how does the project look like? So this is a sample config file. It has a name which will be used to recognize the Tmax sessions session in the list. Uh, it, you have to give it a root folder, so where the Tmax should start its sessions. And you can see here, we specify the layout of windows and panes, and we can also run various commands in them. So that's the whole goal of the sessions. Um, we have various layouts. So there are four pre-built layouts versus even vertical, which is evenly splits, splits panes in a window from top to bottom. We have main horizontal, main vertical, tiled, and the most interesting is custom, where you can preserve your current windows and panes split and edit uh, to the Tmaxinator config uh, so that you can um, have your own custom splits there. Tmaxinator can do a little bit more than just uh, tile windows and panes. You have quite a few uh, lifecycle hook events where you can run various commands, which is super useful. What you also have is ability to pass environmental variables. So we can say, um, you know, maybe you have a session for managing a production server, a dev server and staging server, and the only difference is really a name and the path. Uh, so you can use environmental variables to capture those differences so you don't need to generate a lot of sessions. You can reuse them in a sense. All right, um, let me make it a bit smaller so you can see how kind of the typical workflow looks like. So you create a new project which creates a YAML file. Then once you edited it and edit whatever you want to be rendered in Tmax session, you start it. Once the project is started, Tmaxinator is creating behind the scenes a Tmax session for you. So starting a server or attaching to existing server, creating a session. And then for each session creates a window and for each window, it will create paints, execute commands, 
and run those commands in shell. So all those things you specified in the YAML file. Uh, finally, it will set all the layouts. You can select which window and pane to start from, so which one should be focused once you switch to your session. And finally, when this, once this is done behind the scenes, it attaches to the session. Once you execute the exit command, um, you exit the whole session, you kill it, or you can also use a tmax command to do this. And um, at the end, not at the end, but it should actually be also here. So all the hooks are also executed while we are creating all the layouts here and creating sessions. All right, so let's look at the small demo. I'll show you a few of my sessions and how they work uh, so you can get a feel uh, how, how it could look like. So here um, we have MOOX, which is shortcut for Tmaxinator, and you do list. You can see I have various sessions here. This one I want to show you first, Cloud Rumble, make it a little bit bigger. So MOOX, edit, Cloud Rumble. And here you could see, again, it has a name, it has a starting folder, and on project start hook is what I'm using to fetch my repository and prune old branches. So instead of me remembering to do this command every time, I can do this like that. So startup window will be dev and startup pane will be second one. So here you can see I have two windows, dev and vim. So when the session starts, the dev window will be, will be the main one, the focused one. And inside of it, I have two different layouts, even horizontal and tiled. And you can see that first pane runs a script called run a sage and here i'm using arguments in this argument this is a first positional argument that i would pass to the tmaxinator so tmax start cloud rumble and whatever parameter is required here it so happens that this script is very simple it essentially um, decides whether to open a web page in browser or not. This is, by the way, a session for my uh, homepage. Then LG is an uh, alias for lazy git, which is super awesome program. If you don't know it, uh, definitely think of using it. If you use a lot of repositories, it just manages uh, a git repository for you and serves as a pass-through for git commands. And in another pane, I'm using, uh, I'm opening NeoVim. Vim is an alias for me for NeoVim as well. All right, so, so that's how it looks. Let's execute it. Let's give it a try. So max start cloud rumble. So if we are starting it, you can see the commands were correctly executed. So on the right hand side, I have my lazy git. On the left hand side, the run script was executed. But since we didn't pass any parameter, it didn't open my web page in, uh, in a browser. And in the next window, we have Vim. So uh, quite interesting. I have two windows. I don't need to think of executing those commands. They will always be there for me. Uh, I can quickly end the session by doing Tmaxinator uh, stop, but I have it in a script. So I can just use Alt-E for end, and you can see here the names. So we can just switch this off and we are back where we started. So one session that is really like, I'm using it a lot, and this is session that evolved quite a while. Um, I can show you the config. I cannot show you, I, I don't wanna start it because it has quite a few things that are um, not, shouldn't be publicly shown, but I can show you how the session looks like. So we can do MOOCs, edit, task. And this session is, um, this is essentially my task warrior session. So when I work or when I do tasks at home, I am using two variations of this session. And uh, I've been uh, creating some videos about task warrior. You can find them on my channel. What I do essentially is I pull data from various sources, be it GitHub or other sources, and I synchronize the issues and you know emails and whatever into task warrior so i'm converting everything into task warrior task 
and I have um, sophisticated automation around Task Warrior to help me manage all those things. So this session is all about it. So you can see on project start, I'm making sure that the task context is work because this session is for work specifically. Uh, so I have other contexts for Task Warrior. If you don't know Task Warrior, just Google it or watch a few of my videos. It's a really powerful way to manage your tasks in terminal. Then on the first start of the projects, I am actually syncing the issues. This script is a script that pulls not only from GitHub, but from various sources, issues, pull requests, everything that's kind of assigned to me, and it synchronizes it into a task warrior. That's a quite sophisticated script at that point. Uh, I've been working on it for quite some time, but this is really cool way to like pull the data and convert it into tasks. Okay, so that's just a little bit of context. So what's happening here? And you can see there is a lot of stuff happening. So we have quite a few windows. So first window is to do. And you can see here that instead of layout being event horizontal or something like that, I have a custom layout. All those numbers here come from the tmax list window command. So I can show you tmax list windows and it gives gives you this number that you can copy paste to your layout instead and make it a custom layout now all those commands they are specific to uh, my task so i am executing quite a few scripts um, I, I, ex I open up um, task warrior uh, reports and so on and you can see here is a dedicated window for prs um, dedicated window for some other PR uh, uh, related commands and so on and so forth. So you can make it as elaborate uh, as you want. And I find it extremely useful. This is one of the, the most important uh, productivity boosts um, in my whole workload or workflow rather. So let's close it. And uh, let's look. Let's look at one more, maybe. Uh, let's do this. So a simple session for just playing music. So not all of this has to be work related. Very simple. It just has main horizontal a session, and it opens a program called Simus and Kava, which is a visualizer for for music synth and another kind of. I don't have to remember to open those programs. I don't need to remember how they are called. I just open them and I can interact really quickly. So sessions for me are kind of a way almost of explicitly naming the workflows uh, that I have. And whether it's for like doing tasks at work or for listening to music or there's kind of plenty more, uh, I encapsulate all those things because it's just for me, it's much easier to think in, in, in terms of like, what is this workflow about? And then the details of it, like executing commands or uh, lifecycle hooks, I set it up once. I, of course, tweak it if I need to, and it just works. All right, so let's uh, swap back to uh, our session here, which is Xenator. So that was the quick demo. A lot of those. Uh, all of those sessions are available in my dot files, so you can just inspire, grab some of them and, and, and get inspired to creating your own. So what are some tips? Uh, you've seen already me using alias. I am using uh, MUX, but a lot of people are using TX for Timuxinator. I think it comes with some default aliases. Things that I haven't showed you, you can create project template files. Um, for running like a temporary sessions. I don't really use it because a lot of my sessions are like long lived. Uh, and you've seen me placing like not, if you have more complex commands, it's better to actually put them in a script and execute the script. You can call it from any, you know, any folder in your system. And uh, it's much easier than, than putting, unless it's a one liner command, but otherwise script is better. Uh, here you can find some resources, so repository, docs, uh, it has 
uh, doesn't have a man page, but it has this good documentation online. Uh, and uh, if you would like to improve your knowledge about Tmax, here is a Tmax cheat sheet. Let me make it a bit smaller. So that's all for today. Uh, again, if you're using Tmax already, you might be familiar with other tools like Resurrect and there's other kind of session managers as well. I've tried quite a few of them. Uh, Resurrect never worked for me because I have a lot of dedicated sessions that I kind of switch on and off all the time and to save resources. So uh, I don't have like one or two sessions that I constantly work with. They are very dedicated workflows. Um, and I settled on Tmaxinator so far. So it's been a great experience for me. I was able to fit it to the way I work and create quite sophisticated sessions as you've seen. All right, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments how you're using Tmaxinator or other programs for managing your Tmax sessions. I would be interested to know. Otherwise, thanks again and see you in next video.